Hey everyone, this is Devon Joshi. I'm the managing editor for the Johnsonian, uh, and here's a quick little video about the new Google Bar. Um, so, if you watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that um, I talked a little bit about Google Plus and the Black Omni Bar, and you'll notice something uh, different here that I don't have a Black Omni Bar. Um, and so, recently. Uh, Google has introduced an uh, even new design element, so with, along with their Gmail design changes, uh, you have a new Google bar that's come in. Um, and so if you don't know about the new Google theme, um, here it is. Uh, it is actually the new look for Gmail, essentially. Um, it came out as something called Preview, Preview Light, Preview Dense. Um, and this is an iteration, and I have some Labs features installed, which is why I have a split screen. But at any rate, the video right now that we're going to talk about is this new Omni bar. Um, and so the first thing you'll notice, I suppose, is the black bar is missing where it said used to say docs, um, images, and everything like that. That's gone. When I hover over the Google logo, there you go. Um, I have all these options. When I hover more, I get all of them. So this is a new dynamic, um, uh, a lot more uh, graphical, I guess, uh, a way to access all of Google services. I mean, it's actually pretty neat. I, I, I like it. Um, right off the bat, though, I think one qualm that uh, Patrick Dukes, uh, a former Winthrop student, brought up was the inability to uh, move uh, these different services uh, onto the main bar. So as you see when you hover over, you get these certain uh, features that are here, and you have to go to more um, for things like, let's say, your calendar. Um, and, and, and I I agree with his uh, his uh, his call on that too. Um, it would be nice to move them, but anyway, let's not delve into it too much. Let's talk a little bit about what's new. Um, so if I click on a calendar or search, um, you see I got it open up in a new tab, and this uh, theme continues over. I have the big spanning bar. Um, I have a custom background on my Google account, but you know if you don't, you'd have the normal Google screen, and you can still hover over to get to something else uh, like news. And again, this kind of theme is uh, going to go on. You'll notice that my notifications for my Google Plus will show up right here. I can share, and I'm still logged on here as well. Um, the one difference is YouTube. When I click on YouTube with the new theme enabled, you'll see you get a whole different uh, YouTube page. Now, some people may have seen this already. Um, I remember Jeremy Allen had this few... Uh, almost about a month and a half ago um, but now you can see that you can get this with the new overall theme you can connect your Facebook, you can go uh, can click on my Google Plus button and see videos that uh, other people in my Google Plus circles have shared um, so this is a kind of a new look for um, YouTube as well uh, so you're kind of syncing across all of your Google accounts one thing I will say though is from YouTube uh, we don't have that same bar um, anymore it opens up in a new tab uh, and so that's something that would be, I don't know if that's ever going to change or not, but um, you can go on and um, you know, go into YouTube and mess with it. They also have a videos link, um, which is interesting that they still have Google videos up. Uh, maybe it's just a video search. But anyway, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's just a new look, uh, nothing outside of that. I think it's really neat. I like it. Uh, I like kind of having my Gmail as this kind of a central hub of information. Um, and so for some people, it's, it's very compact. Uh, some people don't like this. I like all of this right here. I like to be able to click on an email and see it previewed here and have my chat and my all my little silly tabs. Um, I enjoy it. But if you want this feature, um, the first thing, uh, if you have Google Chrome, check and see if the service hasn't already rolled out for you. Um, or if you can opt into it by going to Google's home page um, because I think some people have said that now they can get it too um, just through updates to Chrome and their services. If uh, you still don't have it updated um, in Google Chrome um, and I believe in other browsers you can uh, follow Mashable.com's uh, guide so it's just Mashable.com slash 2011 slash 12 slash 01 slash secret dash hack dash google dash bar it'll take you to their guide and essentially what you're going to do um, they have a little preview video of their own of the new google bar um, and then you can go through and uh, edit uh, a cookie inside the browser 
Um, and that will, once you reload it, it'll allow you to. That's how I actually uh, uh, got the new thing. I actually edited my cookie to get it. Um, but yeah, I just want to share that with everyone. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email me at joshed at mytjnow.com. Um, and of course, you know, if you have any other questions about any tech-related stuff, send them my way. All right, thanks for watching, guys.